Following two presidential addresses in 24 hours on COVID-19, the Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Judith Nabakova, has come out to drum for adherence and total observance of every directive for restoration of economic normalcy. The minister summarized President William Seven's address, highlighting key areas of importance like when and how the public transport will reopen. Public transport such as buses, taxis, will be allowed to resume operation on the 4th of June 2020. However, all public transport vehicles will be expected to carry half of their normal passenger numbers, putting emphasis on social distancing and wearing of masks. Minister Nabakova also re-echoed government's commitment to distribute standard masks to ensure full observance of mask use before full lifting of the lockdown. Because this is a war, we are in this together, so we want their support. And the phases we are now going into, we will expect members of the public to be interacting quite oft oftenly with us, to give us feedback on how they are finding the guidelines put in place, but also contributing to the implementation of the guidelines set up by government. Dr. Musonera, the presidential advisor on epidemics, utilized the platform to educate the public on the different types of masks, warning masses against using counterfeit products. So the masks we are talking about, I have a number of them here. This is a cloth. This is a very tightly woven cloth. And uh, when they made it for me, I couldn't wear it comfortably because the fabric was so tight, the air does not move through very well. You get hot, so we, I kept removing it. That's not protective. Mask you wear should allow you to breathe. It should let in air so that you can breathe comfortably. And we have found that cotton fabric, like this one, it allows you to breathe in properly. But it should block what comes out of you so that it doesn't spread so much. It so, was against this background that Dr. Musonera advised government to suspend use of surgical and other unauthorized masks since they cause more harm than good. Others are covering just here the chin. That's not useful. Remember the mask is your protection gadget. It's protecting you. We are not putting them on for security or for Minister of Health. Or you are putting it on for your protection. We are releasing you to go out there, but the virus is still coming. Aware that there are sections of the public that continue to decline to use face masks due to health problems like asthma and other respiratory complications, Dr. Musonera has advised such categories to keep at home. Dokas Kimono and Gloria Guitavinji, UBC TV News.